Hi, I'm Bushcraft Boy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a review on two of the most popular backpacks in the bushcrafting world. Welcome to my video. I am now going to give you a quick overview of each backpack. Swedish Army LK35. Very simple and very basic backpack. It has canvas which can be made waterproof and it has a steel frame on the back. British Army, Northern Ireland, they pack quite a lightweight backpack. It's 30 litres and is a bit smaller than the Swedish Army LK35. But other than that, it is also very simple and not too basic because of all the different bits on it. This is the LK35, a very simple and basic design. The LK35 is based around a 35 litre bag with quite a big space inside and compression straps to put extra things in. The compression straps can also be used to secure additional items. The whole thing is strapped onto a steel frame. Once you've opened the lid, you are able to see this loop, which corresponds with this loop. Those two loops are perfect for carrying an axe. For example, the small forest axe. Almost as if they're made to carry the small forest axe. When you've got the lid shut, it does two things. A, it protects the axe head and keeps you safe from it, which is also what the sheath is for. And B, it stops it being so obvious that you're carrying an axe with you. Here is a small forest axe in place. When you shut the lid, like this, you can't see the axe head anymore. You can seal the pack with this strap. Here's how you do it. Also, on the lid, at the top, there is a waterproof layer. The top of the pack also has compression straps where you can put things like woolen blankets and bed rolls, things like that. You can also add additional items by clipping them onto the frame or putting them on these compression straps. The frame itself is very strong but very basic. Two, mu two movable back supports, two movable shoulder straps, but most importantly, no waist support. One of its many advantages is that the frame can easily be detached so that it can carry other things. It's very simple to detach the frame. All you need to do is detach one strap here, one strap here 
and pull these loops over the top. And this is the second pack. The British Army Northern Ireland Day Pack. It is a bit smaller than the LK35 and is 30 litres. Also it has a smaller main section but on the upside it also has smaller compartments so you can separate some things from other things. This pack also has two side pouches and two pouches in the lid. The lid and the side pouches have snap lock fittings to close them and keep them secure. And also they have snow covers which I will show you in a minute. The pack is covered in additional attachment points. You will find them on the lid, the sides, the front and even the bottom. This is the snow cover I mentioned earlier, which protects the contents from the element. And this is another compression strap. On the lid there were two more storage compartments. They both have sturdy heavy duty zips and a rain cover to protect each zip. Unlike the LK35, the Northern Ireland Day Pack does not have a steel frame. What it does have, however, is a well padded back two shoulder straps, a handle and a waist belt. Also you can put a thicker belt through these loops. And there we have the Northern Ireland Day Pack and the LK35. Both amazing small to medium packs and very popular too. I really hope this video has given you some information on which to choose. Which one do I think is best? I can't decide and I've had them for quite a while. I'm Bushcraft Boy, thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe if you already have. Thank you. Thank you again for watching. I'm Bushcraft Boy. Bye!